guys, Mr. Backerberg here. This is the first part of lesson 8.4. We've got two objectives for this video. We're going to find the determinant of a two by two matrix, and we're gonna find minors and cofactors of a square matrix. So we're taking a look at this two by two matrix, and we've got some entries A1, B1, and A2, B2. If we wanna find the determinant of this two by two matrix, determinant is shown by two vertical lines around our matrix. So it looks a little bit like absolute value, but when we're dealing with matrices, it does mean the determinant. In order to find the determinant of a two by two matrix, we're gonna group up diagonal pieces. So I'm looking at this A1 and this B2. We're gonna multiply those things together, and then we're gonna do our other diagonal, B1 and A2, and we're gonna multiply those things together, and then we do a little subtraction between them. So we've got a few examples to work through. We're gonna find the determinant of each matrix. So if we look at example A, we've got entries two, negative three, one, and two. So we're gonna group up diagonals and multiply. So two times two is four, minus, if we group our other diagonals, one times negative three is negative three. So double negative turns into addition, and we get seven as that determinant. If we look at example B, again, group diagonals, two times two is four, and one times four is four, so four minus four is zero. Last example is a one by one matrix, and the determinant of a one by one matrix is the entry. So on this one, we've got three, so the determinant is three. Next example we're gonna do on our calculator. So we've got a two by two matrix with entries two, negative one, three, and five. Firing up the calculator, I already have these entries in my two by two matrix, two, negative one, three, and five. So I'm going to quit out of there, then go second matrix, arrow over to math. The determinant is the first option that's up there, so we're gonna go determinant of matrix A, hit enter, and it tells us we have a determinant of 13. We're gonna do a couple more determinants on our calculator. So we've got matrix A as this three by two matrix, and we've got matrix B as this two by two matrix. I already have both of those matrices entered into my calculator, so I'm gonna go second matrix, math determinant of second matrix A, and when we do that, we should get an error. In order to do the determinant, our matrix has to be a square matrix, and matrix A was a three by two matrix, so it's not gonna work out. Now if we quit out of there and go second matrix math determinant of second matrix B, and type that one out, we should get a determinant of zero for that square two by two matrix. Now eventually we're gonna do determinants of three by three matrices and maybe some bigger matrices. And in order to do that, we're going to need to talk about things called minors and cofactors. So again, A has to be a square matrix, three by three, four by four, something along those lines. We can build what's called a minor matrix by doing some row and column deletion and then doing a determinant of what's left over. Then based on that minor matrix, we can come up with something called a cofactor matrix by changing a few of the signs within our minor matrix. Now, don't let this little formula thing down at the bottom get too confusing for you. I'm gonna look at a cofactor sign chart on the next slide. So as we're taking those minors and building this cofactor matrix, sometimes we change signs, sometimes we keep the sign the same. And for these, in a three by three matrix, everywhere you see a positive one means that we would keep the sign the same for that entry, but everywhere we see a negative one means that we would have to change the sign on that entry from our minor matrix. If it's a four by four, we just extend it by adding an extra column and adding an extra row. So positive ones, the sign stays the same, and negative one means the sign changes. And then that pattern would continue for like a five by five, a six by six, so on and so forth. I wanna look at this two by two example first. So we're gonna take this two by two matrix, we're gonna work through and build a minor matrix, and then based on that minor matrix, we'll build a cofactor matrix. So we're gonna do row and column deletion. So if we wanna figure out the entry in our first row, first column, then we're gonna look at our first row, first column, and we're going to cross off that first row, and we're going to cross off that first column. And then what we wanna do is the determinant of what's left over. Well, we've only got a five left over, so we're doing the determinant of a one by one matrix, 
that has just five in it. And the determinant of a one by one matrix is just whatever the entry is. So in the first row, first column, since that's what we crossed off, we get five. Now if we look at first row, second column entry, so first row, second column would be this four. So I'm going to cross off the first row and cross off the second column. We're going to do the determinant of this matrix that has just negative three as its entry. So we get negative three as that determinant. Then if we jump down to second row, first column, second row, first column, cross those things off. The determinant of this one by one matrix is just four. Then we've got second row, second column. So we're gonna cross those things off and the left over there is one. So this is a minor matrix based on that original two by two matrix. Now we talked about the cofactor sign chart for a three by three and a four by four. For a two by two matrix, the cofactor sign chart would look like one, negative one, negative one, one. And remember, positive ones mean that we keep the sign the same on those things. So I'm looking at the five and the one. There's a positive one as each one of those entries, so we're gonna keep those signs the same. And then if we look at the other diagonal where those negative ones are, it means that we change the signs on those entries in our minor matrix. So the negative three becomes a positive three, and the positive four down here becomes a negative four because we're changing the sign on those things. So this is our new cofactor matrix based on our minor matrix, which was based on our original matrix. Now we're gonna look at this three by three example. We're gonna build a minor matrix, which I'm gonna call M. And then after we get that M matrix, then we'll build our cofactor matrix, which we'll call C. So let's start doing our row by column deletion. So we're gonna start by crossing off the first row, first column, and then we have to do the determinant of what's left over. So negative one times one is negative one. And if we subtract off zero, we get negative one. Then we'll do first row, second column. Three times one is three, minus eight is negative five. First row, third column. Three times zero is zero, minus negative four is a positive four. So there's the top row entries on our minor matrix. Then we move down to second row and we'll do the first column first. Two times one is two, minus zero is two. Then if we do second row and second column, crossing those things off, zero times one is zero, minus four, we get negative four. Second row, third column, zero times zero is zero, minus eight, we get negative eight. Then we're down to the bottom third row and we'll cross off the first column. Two times two is four, minus negative one, we get five. Third row, second column, Zero times two is zero, minus three, we get negative three. Last row, last column, zero times negative one is zero, minus six, we get negative six. Now I'll write down our cofactor sign chart for a three by three matrix. Remember where there are positive ones, we keep the sign, and where there are negative ones, we change the sign. So this negative one over here has a positive one in that position, so that one stays the same. Negative five has a negative one, so we change the sign. Four is gonna stay the same. Two will have to change the sign to negative two. The negative four will stay the same. Negative eight will have to change the sign to a positive eight. Five can stay the same down on the bottom left-hand corner. Negative three will have to change the sign to a positive three. And negative six, we can keep the same. So there's our minor matrix based on our original matrix and our cofactor matrix based on that minor matrix. That's going to be it for this video. Please remember to fill out the Google form linked in the description down below. And thanks for watching.